Hello there and welcome to part 2 of this Stargate tutorial here on 52 Hyder 3D. Today we're going to continue modelling one segment of the Stargate, particularly with the back and uh, yeah, getting the details on the chevron. So I've got a nice list of things to do here because so far when I've tried to record this tutorial it's gone awfully. So let's get started. Um, first thing you might notice I've got rid of the background images just by turning off background images. They were just getting in the way a bit. So what do we need to do? We need to fix the mirror clip. There's a notice last time there's a the uh, mirror doesn't quite match up properly. We just turn on clipping on the mirror modifier, select these and move them up against each other. That's fine. Okay, add mirror to Y. So we want the back to be exactly the same as the front. Does that make sense? So just add a loop cut there and one there and we can then delete this half like that and do it again like that okay so we can now add well now click on Y but nothing's happening because we haven't applied the rotation and scale so Apply rotation and scale. Did that work? Yeah. There we go. And then do the same as we did with the uh, the clipping problem there. Just move these so they match up nicely. Okay, so we've got that done. So now let's do the same thing with the chevron. We can delete, oh, deselect everything first, and then delete that. And make sure the cursor is in the center with Shift C. Go to Object Mode, press Control Alt Shift C. Does that work? There. To snap Origin to 3D cursor. And apply the rotation and scale of that as well, and again add Y to the mirror modifier. I think we want to move this slightly out from where it is currently and rotate it slightly around the median point. So now we can extrude this inwards and turn on clipping and snap them up together like that so now you'll see it's pretty much identical on both sides so of course it isn't identical the real Stargate if it is real isn't the same on the back as it is on the front but it's it's close enough so for now we'll just uh, yeah we'll just treat them as the same. So we now want to do these sort of uh, plates here. So let's see if I've got a better reference. Uh, I'll do. So these sort of fix onto the top of the chevron here. So just delete these vertices and then select these ones. Let's see how this is going to work. Extrude this in maybe. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Yeah, and then extrude it inwards. Just scale it to zero along the Y just so it all nicely matches up and then we can extrude it along can 
move that one up more to there. Yeah, and that's looking quite nice. Maybe it needs a loop cut in the middle, just a bit of an angle. Like so. Yeah, that's quite nice. So if we look at the detailing on the chevron here in the middle, there's a sort you can see there's a sort of gap in the middle where there isn't the the edge. So just delete these that sort of little lip at that point. And yeah, that's looking nice. So we won't bother with the um the sort of it looks so rubbery at the moment. We won't bother about that because I think we're gonna do that sort of at the last minute um with another object. So so let's go about adding the materials. So oh, we'll need to apply everything first. So once you're sh pretty sure we've got everything all right here, and I think we have. Let's just have a quick look at the Chevron reference image I've got there. Actually, let's add the loop cut in there, like that, and. Apply that material in there. That's better. So then we can go to the mirror modifier and click apply. And we've got one nice object and just remove doubles just to check that there aren't any. And there weren't, so that's all cool. So on the back, as you saw in the picture, it's not all um, lit up, so we can apply the other material. So select all these faces and apply that material. And we'll also do it for basically all of that. So if we just box select it, it makes it easier, sign. Okay, no, it hasn't done it for there, has it as well? No, that's good. So, if we just give this a quick render, and that's looking much nicer. So the back is looking like the back, and the front is looking like the front. Very nice. So. Obviously, on the back, instead of this, there isn't a, a slot for the inner ring to go into. So we're going to have to apply some mirror mo the mirror modifier. But you can see we've got it on X and Y, and we only want to apply the Y. So let's turn off X and apply, and then add a new modifier. And it's auto automatically set it to X again. So we've got everything there. Let's just remove doubles again. Sometimes it doesn't quite work. And if we turn on snapping, just so we can get it into the right place, like that, and then apply, remove doubles, and that's looking really quite nice. I don't know if this is set to smooth shading. No, it wasn't. So uh, you can see that now looks horrible, but if we add an edge split modifier, that's looking much nicer. There's no edges showing up on this smooth backside. So see that in rendered again. Yeah, that's looking quite nice. Okay, just one more thing to do, I think, for this episode. We'll move this uh, section right back, uh, not that far back, <laughs> with snapping disabled, I think. 
uh, and that's not going to work because it's attached there so just undo that sorry and but let's extrude it inwards all right yeah so extrude it inwards scale while zero and just delete these faces that we don't want and then here and that's my alarm going off to tell me I've been going for quite long enough so next time next time next time what are we doing next time um, we're going to be uh, adding the inner ring and we're going to be making it so the whole thing is actually circular rather than just one little segment. So I hope to see you then, which will possibly be out this week or if not the next week. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, subscribe to this video and comment of course in the comment section. Bye-bye.